everybody and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Tatum and on Thursdays we do a quick stretching routine. So today we're going into a little bit of a chair pyramid flow. So today we'll just need our mat. Um, if you don't have a mat, that's totally cool. Just come to a hard surface and you should be fine. So we're going to get started as always in Tadasana. So my feet are hip width distance. That's two fists if you need a visual. And then I'm going to spread my toes wide, plant them firmly onto the earth, lift through the arches of my feet, engage my knees so my thighs are engaged, and then pull my low belly in, low ribs pull down, and then my shoulders come back and down as I lift my chest to the sky, palms face forward. We'll take a few breaths together here. Let's inhale our arms together, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, palms face away from each other as we exhale, come down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands come down. One more deep, full inhale, belly breath. And exhale, hands come onto the horizon. So palms are face down. We look like a giant T here. Drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Let's inhale, lift our chest. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist to the left. Trying to keep those hip points forward. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right or left, your choice. Inhale through center, exhale to the other side. So really working that core and trying to keep our hip points squared towards the front of the mat. Lifting up nice and tall, relax your shoulders if you feel any tension increasing. One more round, wherever you are. And we'll inhale, come back through center, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, let's forward fold, hinging from our hips, leading with our heart, soften through your knees. Now you can stay here. I'm going to take my left foot to center line, to my midline, and then wrap my right foot to the outside of my left. So I'm coming into this twisted uh, forward fold. Now you can stay here or you can gently walk your hands to the right side of your mat and send your hips to the left. A deep long stretch down the back side of your leg. Relax your shoulders and your head down. Your head is gazing at your legs or just behind you. Breathe here. You got it. If you're in this twisted chair, let's inhale, or sorry, a twisted forward fold. Let's inhale, come back through center. Uncross our legs. Take your right foot to center line and then cross this left foot behind your right to the outside of your right foot. Again, you can stay here, softening through your knees, making sure you're not hyperextending, or you can walk your hands to the left side of your mat, taking your hips to the right, deep long stretch down the left side of your leg. Gaze comes to your legs. And shoulders are pulling down your back. Relax. Breathe into the tension points. A few more rounds of breath here. Allowing your spine to lengthen with every exhale. And we'll gently come back through center, uncross our legs, feet come back to hip width distance. We'll bend our knees and slowly roll all the way up to standing. Arms reach up overhead. Exhale, sink low into your chair. Hands come to your hips here. Let's inhale, lift through our chest. Exhale, sink low. Now I'm going to take this right heel out in front. So it's just a little bit farther forward um, from my left toes but it's still in line with my right hip. So my feet are still hip width distance here. So we're coming into a little hamstring stretch. So soften through your right knee so you don't hyperextend. Inhale, lift through your chest. Exhale, send your hips back. Chest is hinging forward and you should feel a deep stretch down the backside of your right leg. Gaze comes down at the floor, lengthen through your spine and the back of your neck. We don't want any pressure on this right thigh here. So hands are still at our hips. Elbows are reaching out from side to side, so we're not crunching forward here. Left knee is still bent, send those hips back, and your right leg is pulling back into your hip socket. Your hips are squared towards the front of your mat here. Breathe. And an inhale will lift us back up to standing. Take that right foot right underneath your right hip. 
reset here. Inhale, lift through your chest. Exhale, sink through your hips. Pull your low belly in. This time, left leg kicks out. Toes flex back towards your face. Left knee is bent, so we are not hyperextending. Inhale again, lift through your chest. Hands at your hips. Exhale, hinge forward. Lead with your heart. Pulling this left leg back into your left hip socket. My hips are squared towards the front of my mat. I'm breathing down the back side of my left leg. Always option to lift your chest if it's too intense of a stretch or hinge forward if you need it deeper. Taking your gaze down to the floor, breathe. My right knee is still bent here. And an inhale will lift us up, come back through center. Arms reach up overhead, small back bend. And an exhale will bring us back to Tadasana. So we're coming into our pyramid pose. So let's take our right foot out in front of us and step our left foot back. Now, same thing like in our chair, we want our hips squared to the front of our mat. So if you'd like, you can take your feet on a railroad track so they're not on a tightrope, so you have a wider foundation. So heel toe, your right and left foot out. And we wanna make sure that our back foot is firmly rooted onto the earth. We don't want that heel lifting up, so step your foot in if you feel like it's lifting up off the earth. We'll take our right hip back, left hip comes forward. Soften through this front knee. As you inhale, lift through your heart. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Hands come down to the floor and framing this front right foot. Again, pulling this right leg back into the hip socket here. And this left hip is gonna be rolling forward. You can lengthen through your spine or begin to allow your spine to round, taking your gaze to your back foot. Breathe down the front right leg. Again, still working those hips towards squared to the top of your mat. Softening through this right leg. Breathe here, you got it. With every exhale, maybe you fold a little bit deeper. Finding a little bit of ease. And then we'll soften through this right leg, bringing our weight into our right foot. As we inhale, slowly stand back up. Take our left foot up to our right and then step our right foot back. Again, back right heel is rooted onto the earth and we want a railroad track stance, not a tightrope. So if you want to heel toe this left foot out towards the side, you can. Hands come to our hips, took this left hip back, right hip rolls forward. Soften through this knee so you have a micro bend here. We'll inhale, lift through our chest, exhale, lead with your heart as you hinge forward. Hands come to the mat. You can come up onto your fingertips here. Again, back heel is rooted onto the earth, softening through this left leg. Now notice if each side of your body is different, so I know that this side is a little bit tighter for me. So I might just stay here today. If you'd like, you can begin to hinge forward, allowing your back to round, maybe forehead working towards your knee here. Breathing down the back left side of your leg. This right hip is rolling forward, left hip is pulling back, squaring to the top of your mat. Relax your shoulders, unclench your jaw. And when you're ready to come up, take your weight into your right or your left foot, excuse me, bend through this left knee and step your right foot forward as you slowly roll all the way up to standing. Arms will reach up overhead. Exhale, sink low. Coming back into our chair, hands come onto the horizon. These left fingertips are gonna be reaching forward here. Let's take a, before we move any farther, let's take our gaze down to our stance. So we want our weight into our heels and our toes can wiggle here. My tailbone is tucking under and my low belly is pulling in. Okay, now we can bring our hands out onto the horizon. Pull your shoulder blades back into your sockets. My left hand is gonna stay here as I take an inhale. Exhale, drop my right hand down by my side. Open my palm up to the right and open my chest, twisting here. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, we'll bring you forward, back through center. Inhale here. 
Exhale, twist to the left. Left palm opens to the left side of the room. Drop your shoulders. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, come forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale brings you forward. Exhale, twists you to the left. And we'll take a few of these on our own. And inhale brings you forward. Exhale, twist. Sinking low in your hips, still in that chair pose. Legs are hip width distance. And you're pulling in that low belly. Engage your core. Open up your chest on your twist. Gaze can come to the left and right. Breathe here, sink a little bit deeper if you can. I know it's hard. Sink a little bit deeper if you can. Two more rounds, wherever you are. Last one. Coming back through center, lift your fingertips to the sky. Sink a little bit deeper. Take another deep inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. Grab opposite elbows and gently rock from side to side, softening through your knees, bring that belly to your thighs and gaze comes behind you, allowing your spine to lengthen. You can shake your head yes, you can shake your head no here. And we'll gently come back there, center. Release your hands as you inhale. Slow roll, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hands come through heart center. Thank you so much for flowing with me today, you guys. It's always an honor, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.